With all the hundreds of videos that Dr. Mark and I have created, we use lots of different styles to grab attention, help our clients get noticed. Here's one of those. You have done some very important large installations. Tell me about some of those. Uh, well, it is an, uh, extraordinary to get an opportunity to do scale that is much larger than desktop or uh, in the uh, cabinetry. Olympus, when they built their new corporate headquarters here in the Center Valley uh, near Bethlehem, came and commissioned me to do the centerpiece of their opening, which is in their lobby, and I interpreted some very important aspects of their culture and their new uh, headquarters and so forth and created a sculpture that in driving over we had to set it up in after hours and they first wanted us to come at 10 or 11 at night and I said no this is going to be a very tricky installation please don't do that well they built a little wall a room around where we were going to install it we showed up we had to we had an eighth of an inch all the way around to lower huge pieces of crystal into a marble base that had river rock and is a very beautiful thing and it reflects lenses which is the basis of what Olympus is all about and again like the caterpillar a lens inverts the image so the dignitaries that were there for the ribbon snipping in the photograph in the newspaper were all upside down in the sculpture and so I thought this is just an incredible material and I love working with it we've also done a huge one at the Sands Casino the new casino here in Bethlehem of where they wanted a very special lighting effect in what became a environment that is part of a circular bar and we're very excited about that as well. And you've been in other places in this country and internationally. Tell me about some of those. Well, Nessie is alive and well in Belgium and Nessie is probably the largest hot glass sculpture we've done or that I know about. She's about six feet long. Wow. I originally did her for an installation at Longwood Gardens in, uh, outside of Wilmington, Delaware of where Nessie was going down the stream. Uh, and because it was a triangular cross section, it reflected the ceiling of the conservatory. And as you recall, before their uh, restoration, it was a, a triangular shaped pattern. Looked like the scales of a nice. Loch, Ness, Loch Ness monster. Yeah. And so uh, Nessie is, is live and well in an installation in Belgium. And then we have a, a beautiful sculpture out in San Francisco in one of the office buildings and called Sunrise. And so we've been very fortunate to be commission from around the world actually.